Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow, and Merry Christmas. We did it. We survived all the way through uh, Real Life Core December 2022 was a success. And uh, Red Mage Susie gave herself the 25th. I don't know what really to expect. Uh, there's been a lot of joke gifts this year, but also some real interesting things. And things that went from the heart. So there's no rattling or anything. Like this is all just pure solid square. So let's find out what it's going to be. Oh, it's a little silver box. Whoa, it does a sweet flip. If you flip it. Like it's not like motorized or anything. Oh shoot. Uh, am I ready to be cutting things up? Not really. Like I didn't bring my knife to my bed or anything. Which may sound pretty silly. You'd think I would learn. Oh, but no, I think this I can just open, right? Yeah, I can just open. There was the one tape, it looks like. Ooh, you can now play as the Wii. Oh, no. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. All right. You know what? Still not gonna happen. That's too long. <laughs> okay, but hey, let's just let's just take a walk for a second here, trying to not point at anything. And here we go, Hall 2027. That's what it looks like. Pretty amazing year, isn't it? And, uh, yeah, so I just want this, you know, I just want to just say thank you to everyone who participated, uh, who could afford to give something and did. A lot of it was digital, and we're going, going to go back to that. But seriously, though, like, just, like, just honestly, thank you. Thank you, just everyone. Thank you. Hey there. Everyone, this is Al Cow. Happy birthday, y'all. This is part two of the video because I'm going to crunch them together. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to click here. We're just going to get going because we got a big list. I don't know how much of it is Flub Man, but we got a big list. Uh, and we start with Dinner Sonic sending me a little PM here, which is DRM free. Uh, you are not too late. Uh, and you send us... In, in, in on the 24th, so it'd be, you know, video games. <laughs> I couldn't complete my setups. Granny Lao Cow, I hope this does not come to you too late, but I wish to give to you a very small digital present of sorts. I did not realize that a physical advent was happening, was caught off guard as usual, but I did have a last minute idea after being stumped on what could serve as a decent digital gift. It may be a touch cheap and perhaps even egotistical, but I hope it will serve you well, or that I can at least do better next year in my attempt to thank you for being a fun videos guy, even during my own rougher times. Don't, don't worry about all that. No, 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 no. And, oh, cat girls, I'll tell, I've heard about this. It's in the bucket. I don't think, I don't believe I own it. Well, now I guess I do. I got a Dropbox link under to download this directly without going directly to Steam. Almost said Steve. <laughs> trailer if you see i'll do it to you if you went ahead and put it right in front of my face and took the time to write some words uh, the gift here is a digital drm free pc which stands for personal computer copy of cat girl without salad amuse bush a short goofy shmup project of which i was the main programmer as well as designer for a lot of enemy boss attack patterns it's hard to get natural on pc right now due to being part of humble bundle stuff but i got the okay to give you this copy for if you ever reach it on your bucket dot tax list weird pause i added there outside of my own ego stroking i want to do the usual sappy thankings to you for all your years of uploads and entertainment for allowing me to assist with locating soaring through things for all the sonic all the sonic mobile stuff and for possibly not being upset with me for not keeping my duties for any latter all the sonic lately that's fine I have since discovered Coffee Break, 
<laughs> that kind of does. Now that we're out of the Flash era, it's it's okay. Anything I could say? Doing these for so long, you've been uh, doing these so long. You've been a recurring source of entertainment through good times and bad. For being a stuck in a rut nobody in the middle of nowhere to being a legitimate video gamesman and designer in California, I'm sure others have covered, and I'm off of these kind of things. So I'll just say, all of this has been off screen. So I'll just say, I hope the rest of this year and slash or the future serves you well. Matthew Greenfield, a.k.a. Dinner Sonic. Ah, I'm glad I got one last really nice, weirdly oddly personal little letter. I dig it. You know, this is your game? Well, I mean, at least you you, you, you programmed it. Let's, let's watch trailer. It's going to be in tiny format in the middle of the screen. That's the best way to watch a trailer. Wait, you work at Way Forward? <laughs> oh, all right. Well, maybe maybe they were the. What am I? What's the word I'm looking for here? I forget. Yeah. So, uh, producers. So, from what I understand, this is sort of a multi-genre silly game. Like it's just like basically, yeah. And I feel like this trailer is kind of showing that off. It's just a whole bunch of different. See, now it's an RPG. All within a shmup, and it feels really silly to me, and I, I kind of dig it. Oh my gosh. I don't believe it. I, if you have, if you, if you have a lot of frosting in your heart, you probably, you probably should seek medical help. I'm not a medical professional, so maybe that's not that accurate, but it is my sincere belief that, you know. Be careful out there. Ah, but yeah, no, yeah. So, Cat Girl Without Tell, yeah, I had heard of it as being a really weird game. It isn't a thing. It's in a thing. And so, that's where it lives in the bucket. Just look at this. Just look at this. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna jump right in. If I do not take the time to personally lavish you with praise, just because I feel like I kind of have to go. <laughs> Alright, Quebec Gamer. That's me, kind of. This game is set near saint saint claude du Quebec. The more I look at the Steam page, the more it feels just right that you own this Quebec game. A game on SA Jewer, which is not a Quebec Gamer. Mon Bazou, uh, which would roughly translate as my... It's like, it's my... Bazou is like an old car, but... Like, it's meant both as an insult, but also, like, in, in an endearing way. It's like an endearing insult for an old car. I'm not sure how to translate it, just out of the blue like this. But Momazu, build your crappy vehicle into a race car. Install the parts yourself, make money by cutting wood, racing at night, or delivering pizza. Maybe you want to manage a sugar shack or build yourself a big garage? I don't know. I don't know what that has to do with this game either. This has the feel of one of those simulator games that are essentially built for the purpose of being played on the internet. Merle! But the E and O are... Okay. Sword Law is here. So I'm like, screw it. What I want to give you is on sale. Xur is actually really good, despite its reputation. Despite being Xboxized. Buckle up, and here's Deuce Eggs Invisible Wire. That had nothing to do with maybe it's. No. Like you gave multiple games, so maybe there's something else that's coming up. Well, Deuce Eggs Invisible Wire. Approximately 20 years after the events depicted in Deuce Eggs, the world is only beginning to recover from a catastrophic worldwide depression. In the chaotic period of recovery, several religious and political factions had the opportunity to reshape a worldwide government. To their agendas, common ellipses. You don't do that. That is an illegal set of punctuation. There's sex. That's like a stealth game, right? Invisible War implies there would be some stealth because you don't want to be seen. Also, it's one of the jankiest games I've ever played, but not too bad. Might actually prefer 14. Was going to give this with a mission because I want, I want to do all the thieves. All right, and then here's Thief, Deadly Shadow. You are Garrett, the master of theft. Rarely seen and never caught. Garrett is the best I ever was. Able to sneak past any guard, pick any lock, break through the most ingeniously secured residence. So that's how they explain that some of the residents 
are very video gamey. I'm assuming. I haven't played it yet. Thief is a well-known, well-beloved series. And I, I thought things were going to continue that some guys was like, Hey, go, go. Going to contribute to the Gatlin Bush counter. Meow. Merry Christmas, and I hope the recent harsh weather hasn't been too much of a damper on things. Have fun. Some guy, man, some guy. It's always such a delight, you know, when you pop in for those. You are a true, just like, elderman of, of the community. Almost always there, you know, except for specific games that, you know, I get it. But normally just always there ready to give a, a pretty detailed rundown of what's going on popping up highlights pointing out trends counting deaths when it's not too much of a hassle oh well i hope you get a pretty good christmas also dude uh i want to see where i live we've been really lucky with the storm we lost power on the 20th friday 23rd for like two hours and wasn't it was basically for safety reason while they were doing preparation somewhere else anyways cat quest the multi award winning action rpg some say diablo with cats others a super cute skyrim whatever your take cat quest loot fueled cat venture is a beautifully crafted as its combat and magic are ultra satisfying universally adored by critics you'll they'll have you purring for joy man that is and the lose of little blurb there. Was it written by the own... Like, it doesn't feel like it would be written by their own devs, right? So it's like a... So it's like a, a Diablo Skyrim, but with cats and cat puns. If you're into that. Maltramax all. Hey there, Gao Cow. Actually, how long can I make this text? It feels like I could circumvent the gift message character limit to tell you. This is a very interesting Zachtronic Games. This is a sandbox simulator of building and painting mecha models that I've sunk a lot of time into. There might also be some solitaires and puzzle game. What? <laughs> that is a lot of extremely different things going on. What? Last Tale BBS. What's well, a? It's a BBS game. It says so in the name. What's up with painting mecha models? Whoa! Boot up your Z5 power lance and dial into Last Call BBS. Bulletin board service, I think. The last game from Zachtronic. Is do you mean last like last or last like latest? Zachtronics are like a like they are a something. Man, the words just do not come to me this morning. There are something of the game industry. The barkeep slowed up his retro computer with a full set of puzzle games for you to download and play. No need to worry about copy protection. They're all fully cracked and ready to enjoy. <laughs> That's really funny. Thank you, Maltramac. Oh, that's a name. There's a lot of names that I'm... Hey, what's going on here? That I recognize from so long. Why not continue the River City shenanigans? This time, River City is in Three Kingdoms era China. Somehow. Don't think about it. Just hit people. <laughs> that's really funny. Isn't that sort of like be a, a, a joke on the Dynasty Warrior series? Kunio, the beloved hot-blooded renegade, is back to wreak havoc. In the world of Three Kingdoms, the characters take on roles of famous generals for a game packed with wild ass. I didn't even know this existed. This looks to be in the style of River City Girls, so like more of that, but with more Nagatinas. And I mean, honestly, everything in the universe is improved by adding Nagatinas. So I like, I get it. All right, Flubman, how much of the ridiculous size of this thing are you responsible for? The rest of the OJ D DLC you write here, and I'm like, all right, okay, okay. So here's Sira and Nanako for your orange juice needs. We did it. Here's Saki and Kyusuke. Yeah, that's the name. I'm never sure when I'm reading Japanese out loud without pre-reading. A mixed booster pack. I don't know what that is. Because 11 new game cards. Alright. Okay. So they add more cards to the game. Got it. Escrita and K. Got it. Or K. I'm not sure if you separate the A from the E in that thing. Puppet Master and the HUD Blooded Fighter. Well, I sure love my blood hot. That is true. Here's Alten Kyoko. 
That's right, new playable characters. Why are all these separate? You'd think Steam will let you just kind of bundle these all up together in some way. Sham and Sherry, here to say that they're around and that's okay. They're doing their best. There's the Breaker Pack. Uh, two new characters, Star Breaker. And so see, because it's the Breaker Pack, because they're the Breakers, they fully voiced. Uh, they have the ability to use digital vocal cords to communicate. Here's the Acceleration Pack to get to get accelerated into juice and more juice all along, all the time. Here's a Nathan Tomato plus Mimu. Tomato. It's just, check it out, it's me. I'm named after food. Uh, all right. And the prankster duo, Tomato and Mimu. See, I don't know. Like, I feel like in Japanese would read it as tomato and not tomato. See, that's why there's tomato and tomato. It's depending on if you're from Japan or not. Here's Suguri and Hime, but it's their winter costumes. Incredible. Kiriko and No Name. No Name or No Name? Okay, here there's a there's a camel case. So okay, it is no name. Got it. All right. Hey, it's the witch pack. If you want witches, there's a pack for it. I don't know what's going on here. Like your hair's going in, and it's going out. I don't think so, but it kind of looked like that. Core voice pack. If you want to voice your core with the voices of Popo, Yuki, He Man, Fernet. <laughs> All right, here's. The renewal of these people, look at that, going like, wow, attacking the logo. That is exactly what you should be doing. This is a thing that exists. I'm going to click accept gift. Tsi? Tsai? Tsi. I don't know how to pronounce that in Japanese. There's Mei and Natsumi, and also the, the toys are fighting. Don't let them fight. You know, they got... They got that American eyebrows. Here's a toy store pack, all right? Nico and Arthur. And he got a campaign and voices. Going to campaign for voice. Iru and Mira are here doing action thing. I see Gun Expert and Ninja esque. Not full ninja, only, nin only comparable to a ninja. Sora and Sham cuties in parentheses. Very important that everyone is aware that they are indeed cute. Otherwise, you will be shot. Character song, Pat. Ultimate weapon girl. Prepare to die. Sounds great. I'm going to accept that. Yuki and Islay. Islay? Hand puppet wielder. Oh, no. Wheel hand puppet. Truly, the end of the world is happening. There's the pudding, Pat. Get some pudding. All right. Sounds great. Uh, here's the old guardian. That's just missed you. <laughs> Details. All right. Suguri, hey. I saw your name at some point during all of this, this year and other years. All right. Battle of the Zeke, Ellie. Uh-huh. And a mysterious friend of Lulu. She's got a sword. So, you know, that's a thing I had to say, I guess. Elysian Ron... The, this was never meant to be said. This is a name that no one ever speaks aloud. You are just supposed to read it. Read it and weep it. Hey, you got eyes like that. It's Arnell and Maney. They're here to say something that I'm not listening at. Chris and Cupita. Accurate. Helena and Cook. Dig it. Railway runners. They're there, all right. Leaning on the wall. It doesn't exist. It's the Princess Pat. Oh boy, Fernet and Hime, but with the scripters, like I was playing a gotcha game. I'm trying to accept. Success! I guess Steam was being slow because I've just been adding things constantly here. Here's Malt and Miskal. That's right. Whew. Oh, we're done. You know what? I feel like I should. I feel like Steam is struggling, so I'm going to close it and reopen this. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep going. Alright, this is part two of me reading things in a list. Okay, uh, this is a bit awkward. It's a bit, like, smaller. Can I... I can make it a bit bigger. There you go. I have forever tarnished the size of my Steam. Look at that. This thing is still just that big. 
Kaika is all at Aokao. Please be gifted with the most wonderful game about infernal destruction of their belongings brought to you by the creators of World of Goon, Harry Hatsworth. Oh, Little Inferno. I'm pretty sure I've heard of that. Long time viewer. First. This isn't really your first time gifter because I do remember your name, Kaika. Okay, well, hey. You did it. <laughs> You've stepped into these bounds. Little Inferno, throw your toys into the fire and play with them as they burn. I uh, that's weird. An adventure that takes place almost entirely in front of a fireplace about looking up, up, up out of the chimney in a cold world just on the other side of the wall from the creators of World of Goo and Human Resource Machine. Doesn't even Matt mention Harry Hatsworth. Like, what's up with that? I don't want to play it now. Yeah, see, this is... Oh, no, we're not actually done. All right, here's Shifu and Reika. Yeah, this is a bit... Okay, oh, oh man. It's the Pudding Pop. This is a character song, Pudding Pop. We're gonna pop it today. Wadi and Pomerania, which is a very, really, really fluffy cat. Congratulations on your fluffiness. Okay. Shane! I know you. Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas to you, Shane. Have the game that made me realize Metrovanias were a thing outside of Metroid. Also out of Vanias. Still one of my favorite Metroidvania. Shantai, Shantai, is, is it Shantai? And the Pirate's Curse. I heard about this. I've heard a lot of praise about this. Embark on all new adventure with Shantai. It's hair whipping, belly dancing genie. After losing her magic, Shantai teams up with the nefarious pirate Risky Boots in order to save Sequin Land from a curse. Sequin Land? Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. That's fine. High density sequence going on here. Oh hey, I have I've this is one of my golden things I want to play. So I guess I won't have to pay for it myself. Love man, just it took four or five years to make and you beat in one sitting. But that's the thing though, right? Like it's all hand hand animated cells for this video game. The amount of work that goes into these things is like just absolutely ludicrous. So I don't know anything about the DLC. I've been going out of my way to avoid knowing anything about the DLC. I'm not even going to read what's in here. You you had time to read it. I'm not reading it because I want to know the least amount possible. I know that it's on a shorter end. That... Hmm. Finally, a way to play werewolf on a computer. All right. Here's a metal. Oh, it's been a while since I heard of you. Hey, I hope you're doing all right, Om. Merry, <laughs> Merry Boxing Dave. That's really good and funny. <laughs> What's this? Salamander County Public Television. Look at that weird logo. I love it. What, become a professional thing doer. Complete wacky assignments for Salamander County's local TV station and solve a mystery why nearly everyone in the county suddenly disappeared. Oh, I wonder what kind of game this is. Like, that is vague, but you know there's something silly that's gonna, gonna happen. Okay. I mean, my curiosity has got him. My curiosity has definitely been poked. Merry Ambush, Miss. That was Cow. That's Crow sending this. Please enjoy this gift containing the most important video game development of all time. You can pet a bird? All the punctuation and the set of two letters. Uh, oh, Crow. Hey, well, Merry Christmas to you, Crow. The Pathless. From the creator of Abzu, the Pathless is the mythic adventure of an archer and an eagle in a vast forest. Become the hunter, a master of archery, who travels to a mystical island to dispel a curse of darkness that grips the world. All right, that's a video game process. The Pathless. You have been sending me out really interesting stuff, so I bet this is pretty good. Even beyond the more act of... <laughs> the more act of petting a, a bird. <laughs> All right, Fusion, this is it. This is the final result of the cat parade of 2022. Okay, warning, dangerous machines ahead. Thank you, Alcal, for everything you do and everything you are. The joy you bring this world could never be understated. Yeah, so yeah, I heard the story. It was going to conclude with Stray, but thus be the nature of ambushes. But then we get, instead, 
cat president, a more perfect union. And honestly, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Find love in a world cats run the U.S. Garden sounds like a place where finding love would be fairly easy. Friend. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, wait, that other thing you sent yesterday, and this was today, this morning? Yeah, I mean, from on today. Glaucopolis, that's, that's pretty good. And ah, Christmas, the only day of the year where instead of destroying the world and everything inside, we save the world and everything inside reluctantly. Well, yeah, you save it so you can destroy it later. Solar Ash. Yeah, I heard of it. Yeah, from the creator of a war-winning Hyper Light Drifter. Yeah, 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 yeah. High speed and gravity bending world of solar. There's gonna be so many games added to my my bucket. It has become absolutely unmanageable, and I'm happy about that. I guess I really am. I really am. Oh hey, file ambush from. It's too late for this. Totally forgot your bone fear. That's right. As you may not play Psychonaut, here's music you can listen to. You already have more games than you know what to do with. This is why I have removed the, from myself the ability to decide what I'm going to play because it's too hard to choose at this point. You ask for it, we're delivering our, whoa, soundtrack with 134 tracks seems extremely excessive and it's in my possession now. I hope I didn't at some point click the wrong button. It might have happened. If I did, I do apologize. Oh, this game. Hey, Lunaxella. Hey, Red, because those are your two names on the internet. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, buddy. Yeah, because, man, Capcom Fighting Collection. Isn't that Capcom Fighting Jam in another language, or am I mixing up with something else? No, okay, no, 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 that's a more recent, yeah, it's just straight up just like, ports of, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me just read the stupid thing. Ten of Capcom's most popular arcade games in one bumper collection, a wide variety of titles included... From sort of Street Fighter and Darkstalker, Cyberbots, and the first home console port of Red Earth. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I heard about that. You know, I know uh, Darkstalker is such an important part of my childhood game taste making something sentence that is way too long. So, I don't know how the main emulation is versus, like, I don't know how the Capcom Fighting Collection emulation would be. But it could definitely be useful indeed. And then Red Earth, where the game that has Thessa and the big octopus thing. I don't know how to read that, so I'm gonna keep to kip the kip. Got an extra copy from buying a game for myself. Game isn't that great. Oh, sweet. This is the old gift system, so I hope this comes through. Okay, thank you for video. <laughs> All right, <laughs> getting hype here. Onikira, Demon Killer. Uh, Okina has 2D side-scrolling beat-em-ups in a fantasy feudal Japan where the player takes on a role of a samurai fighting to prevent the forces of the Japanese underworld from breaking through to the world of the living. I mean, I love me some samurai, so I'll take it. Oh, I was, oh, that, that is so weird how that, has no one seriously ever sent me Tunic? Well, Crow did, and then there's an MP4 there. I... I am not ready for that kind of stunt. Noting this, I'm gonna put it somewhere. Okay, look, fine. It's an Imger. Oh, there's gonna be a really harsh cut, by the way, because when I, there's some personal folly, there was some personal identifying information in my, in my bar, in my address bar, and I clicked on it, and I didn't realize it. But, uh, that is super cute. Look at that. Look at those little buddies. Yeah, it's Tunic. This is a game I absolutely need to play. Explore a landfill, laws, legend, ancient power, and ferocious monsters in Tunic. Isometric action game about a small fox on a big... Apparently, it's pretty hard. It's a pretty hard game. It has, like, things. Wow, that's right. I figured that one out on my own. This game has things. Well, I've heard a lot of elusive praise for that game. Extreme Legend Dynasty Work Complete Edition. Wait. So I think it is. It's Lubu. All right. Uh... Yeah, they absolutely are beat em up. No, Musu games and beat em ups are absolutely, you know, if they're not the same series, they're cousins. They're like wolves to dogs, basically. I see where 8 Extreme Legends introduced entirely new levels of fun for, to the refreshing gameplay, vanquishing swarms of enemy, mighty world found, dynamic. 
Will you seriously consider the gameplay of Dynasty Warriors refreshing? Well, maybe this one, they start to change things around. I wonder how well a Muso LP would, would work. Pancakes! It's Pancakes 11! Saw that you had To The Moon, but not the sequel, or as they put it, the second full episode to the To The Moon series, Finding Paradise. Well, now because of your action, Pancakes 11, now I do! <laughs> Story of an adventure spanning a lifetime, following two doctors rushing through a dying man's memory to fulfill his last wish. Well, that's wild. Do you mean like literal memory? Considering they had like this little like fuzzy, fuzz vision. I think that means they are just going inside memories. Seems pretty rude, unless they had permission. Happy New Year in a week! That's right, which is pretty crazy to think about. Also, yeah, 2023. Good luck. <laughs> Bird story. An experimental short from the creator of To The Moon and Finding Paradise. Simple and surreal one-hour interactive animation about a boy and an injured bird. I thought that when they said a bird story, I thought that the, the paper airplane was an allegory for a bird. I guess not. Told without dialogue. Sounds great. Thank you. Whew. All right. Look, man. I just did this. I just did this. I, I did all of that now. It's all mine. None of them are pending anymore. Like if, if I do this, if I refresh, it's all good. <sighs> Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you get a great one. I hope. They're all great from now on. <laughs> Do your best at being great, all right? That's all I'm asking. It's my little, tiny, little request. Do your best at being great, if you can help it.